so good evening everyone am i audible yes guru can you just answer again am i audible is the voice clear everyone you can just use your chat box to answer so that if i am audible and voice is clear we'll move ahead with the session yes perfect okay so welcome everyone to the live uh, mock solving for sim impact 9 so today what we will do basically is that i am going to solve this live in front of you and i'll just stick to the strategies which we have been saying since so long which we have been advocating i'll try to speak my mind out loud as much as possible so that you can understand that why i am approaching a particular question in that particular manner and what is going in my head when i see the question for the first time and again i'll try to stick to the same time limit which is uh, 40 minutes for quants then 40 minutes for lr and then 20 minutes for verbal and again if i am taking a fluke since you have no negative marking in impact i'll even mention that which question i am taking for a fluke so is it perfect uh, we'll just wait for a couple of more minutes if some more of your friends are joining and then we can start sharp at 7:5 and also yes uh, after i am done solving the mocks i'll also try to answer any doubts which you have so like once mock is done you can post your doubts on the comment section you can just text your doubts and i'll try to answer them once i am done with solving this mock i hope everyone's prep is going good it is the last leg for your preparations and i do hope everyone is giving at least one or two mocks by now and you are analyzing your mocks as well uh hi dux no zoom meeting is available so it's a youtube live so yes you can access it only through youtube couple of more minutes and then i'll start solving this mock and again guys uh, if i am behind i don't think so i will be but still in a case if i am behind on a particular section and i i am behind then my plan time so maybe i'll just go silent and try to solve as quickly to get my pace back but it will not happen very often and i'll try to avoid it as much as possible and always discuss whatever i am thinking while solving this particular mock so i think it's 7 or 4 and i think i'll start with the mock so let's see how it goes in a bag with marbles 43f red colors 32f only blue and 15f both red and blue if all the marbles in the bag are red blue or both how many marbles are there so again easy question where we know that every marble is of at least one color and 43 is red total red and 32 only blue so total 
marbles in the back will be 43 plus 32 which is nothing but 75 next in a class of 250 60% opted for english so and 70 opted for hindi if according to new rule only one subject can be opted so you cannot have students opting both and students opt case already opting for at least one of hindi and english so 60% of 250 10% is 25 and then 25 is 10% so 60% is nothing but into 6 which will become 155 and 70% of 250 is nothing or my word is 150 and then 70% of 25 is nothing but 175 so in total we have 220 325 students between both the subjects and only 250 students are present so 75 are the number of students who are taking both the subjects so 75 students have to reopt the subjects okay for core trigonometry question since i find it a bit tedious to solve i'll commit later first i'll solve other questions so now functions f of n plus 2 is equal to 2 f of n plus 1 minus f of n and f of 0 is equal to 1 f of 1 is 4 so okay so f of 2 will be nothing but 2 f of 1 minus f of 0 which will be nothing but f of 2 Is equal to two into four eight eight minus one, which is seven. So again, f of three will be two f of two minus f of one, which is nothing but fourteen fourteen minus four, which is ten. So I can see a pattern where every function is increasing by three. So next f of four will increase by three. It will become thirteen, and f of five will increase again by three, which should become sixteen, which is option B. Quickly, I'll mark it. Move forward. Next one: sequence and series. So S one is equal four eleven eighteen. So we have a common difference of seven, and then S two is seven thirty nineteen. So common difference of six. What is the sum of the first twenty terms? Common. Okay. So first term, which is common to both of them, A is nothing but twenty five, and then. the lcm for the common terms will be the lcm of the difference so for first one it is 7 second it is 6 which is nothing but 42 so now it is just basic solving which is n upon 2 into 2a which is 50 plus n minus 1 which will be 19 into d which is again 42 I can make this as ten into fifty plus nineteen into forty-two. So now, if I just look at the tens digit, I know that two into four will give me eight, and this eight will become the unit digit here, which into ten will give me zero. So I should get a eight zero in my answer, which is nothing but eight four eight zero. Moving on, okay. A DI question. I'll just first see how many questions I have for a set, and then I'll move forward. So I have four questions for this set, and seems like a easy set. So let's solve this. First thing which they are asking us is that what is the approximate percentage increase in pulse production from twenty eighteen to twenty nineteen? Okay, so twenty eighteen pulse. Is nothing but one ninety. So again, going with the tens digit eighty plus sixty one forty, one forty plus thirty one seventy one ninety minus one seventy gives me twenty and twenty minus nine gives me eleven and then twenty nineteen pulses is nothing but two hundred and four. So again, eight plus eighty plus seventy one fifty one fifty one eighty. If I minus one eighty, I am left with twenty four, and then from twenty four, if I minus seven, or from twenty four, if I minus eight, 
So 24 minus 8 should give me 16. So what is the approximate percentage? So again, I know that approx 11, it is increasing by 5. And 11 half is 50%, 5.5. So it has to be less than 50%, which is nothing but 45. Moving on, what is the percentage rise in the total production of food grains? Okay. Between 2017 to 2020. Let's see. So for 2017, we have nothing but 200. And then for 2020, 90 plus 70, 160. 160 plus 30, 90. 90 plus 10, 100. 6 plus 4 gives me another 10. So 200 plus 10, 210. Which is in 2020. So nothing but an increase of 10. So again, if it's increasing by 10, I know 10% is 20. So 5% should be my answer. Very easy question. Let's move forward. Total production for rice and wheat in 2017 to 2018. Okay. So we don't know wheat in 2017. Again, 280 plus 30 will give me 110. 110 plus 10 will give me 120. 200 minus 120. I am left with 80. 80 minus 8 will give me 72. So 2017 wheat is equal to 72. 2017 rice is equal to 80. Total sum is nothing but 152. Next, 2018 rice is equal to 82. 2018 wheat is equal to 67, which is nothing but 149. So there is a decrease of 3 and 3 is nothing but approximately I know that 1% is 1.5 so it has to be 2% double of it 20 what what is in 2017 wheat production was approximately what production of the total food production okay so 2017 wheat we know again it is 72 and 72 out of 200 so in 200, zeros cancel out 72 upon 2. I know it has to be 36%. Let's move forward. Time speed and distance sum. So let's see. Two athletes start running in opposite direction. Okay, running in opposite, their speeds will combine. If their average speeds are 6 meters per, 10 sec per second and 10 meters per second, find the time taken by them to meet for the first time. Okay, radius of the track is given and not the length of the track. So we need to find the length of the track, which is nothing but 2 by R, which will give me 2 into 22 upon 7 into 56. I can cancel this out and I can keep this as it. So the length of the track is 2 upon 22 into 8. And since they are moving together in the opposite direction, they will... Speeds will combine, so 6 plus 10 will give me 16. So again, 1s are, 8s are, 1s are, 1s are. So final answer has to be 22, which is an option B. Let's move forward. Again, sums for trigonometry, I'll come later. I'll solve the other questions. Uh, a fruit basket contains 6 apples, X mangoes, X plus 3 guavas. If a fruit is chosen randomly, then the probability of it being a guava is 3 by 7. And the probability of choosing two fruits, one after, okay, without replacement, we need to find the total number of fruits first so that we can find without replacement and with replacement. So let's see. First one for guava, it is three by seven. So three upon seven in guava, nothing. It is but x plus three. And the total summation is 6 plus x plus x plus 3, which is nothing but 9 plus 2x plus 9. So here, when we multiply, we get 7x plus 21 is equal to 6x plus 27. So x is equal to nothing but 6. So my total fruits become 6 plus 6, which is 12, 12 plus 9, which is 21. 
So I have 21 as my total number of fruits. And then they are saying that what is the probability of choosing two fruits from the one after the other without so that the first chosen fruit is a mango. So mango is nothing but 6 upon 21. Since I'm taking one choose out without replacement, I am left with 20. And second is apple. So it is again 6 upon 20. So making simplifying it, this will become 3 upon 7. Then again, this can be written as 3 upon 10 or, okay, my pal, this is 2 upon 7. And this can be written as 2 ones are in 5s are. So 3 upon 35, which is option B. Okay, the marks obtained by a student in 10 subjects were 44, 48, 38, 56, 33, 66. Okay. What is the mean deviation about the median of this course? So, again, for the median, just arranging them first into ascending order. So, the first marks will be 33. The next will be 38. After that, we have 44. After that, we have 48. And after 48, the biggest number is 54. Then we are left with 56. Then again, we have 66. Then we have 75. And then we have 86. Since there are 10 terms, we will just look at the... Okay, 33, 38, 44, 48... 54, 56, 66, 75. Okay, I'm missing out. 60. We also have 60 and then we have 66 and then we have 75 and then we have 86. Okay, now we are done with our 10 numbers and since we are looking for the median for even numbers we just need to take the average of these two numbers so again 54 so 54 plus 50 will give me 94 94 plus 56 will give me 100 110 so now i have 110 as my median now they are asking me mean deviation about the median so since now I have 110 subtracting, so 44 minus 110, 4 minus 110, and then we will have 48 minus 110, 38 minus 110, 56 minus 110, 33 minus 110. And then, then I have 86 minus 110, 66 minus 110, and then 75 minus 110, 60 minus 110, and 54 minus 110. So now, since I know that in the denominator I have 10, I can just try to look at the units digit to find my answer because I'll definitely get a decimal place. So I just need to look at the unit digit. This will give me a unit digit of 6. This will give me a unit digit of 2. 38 will give me a unit digit of 2. This will give me a unit digit of 4. 7. Again, 4. 66 will give me a unit digit of 4. This will give me a unit digit of 5. 0 and 6. So 6 plus 2 is 8. 8, 10, 10, 14. 14. 21, 25, 29. And 34. And addition of everything will give me 6 in the units digit. Finally, 6 plus 2, 10, 10, 14, 21, 25, 29, 4, and 6 and 6, 0, 66. So I'll get the final units digit as 110. So divided by 2. Okay. I think I'm wasting a lot of time for this question. Should be fifty five. So okay, this is a mistake of not writing the final thing. So again, five minus four will give me one. Five minus eight will give me 
too much time. Okay, in a mean frequency distribution. Again, I think this is a calculation heavy sum. I'll come to this later if I have time. I'll just mark this for a year and move next. 40, 20, 30 is the angle of a triangle. And then we have 10A, 10B, 10A, 10C, and 10B, 10C. So a plus looking at the values i know that a plus b plus c should be nothing but 90 degree and then the formula for 10 a plus 10 b this if i just do all the things together so if i have 10 a plus 10 b plus 10 c so 10 of 90 which is nothing but not defined because the denominator is nothing but zero. And since denominator is zero, and I know that expansion of this will be tan A, tan B plus tan A plus tan B plus tan C upon one minus tan A, tan B plus tan A. 10 B 10 C plus 10 A 10 and C. So again, since this is a obvious answer, I can just make since the denominator should be represented by zero. So this particular value has to be nothing but one. Okay. Again, we have g of x is equal to 3x square minus and g of f of x is equal to 7x. Find f of x. Okay, so and instead of x, we can just write f of x. So we get 3 the whole square minus 3 is equal to 7x. So 3f of x the whole square is equal to 7x plus 3. The 3 will go in denominator, and since we have a square, we need to take a square root. The square root of the entire thing, so has to be option A. Ravid invested rupees X in the fixed deposit for two years at a certain rate of interest compounded annually. He earned rupees 676 and 744 as the interest during first year and second year. What is the value of X? So we need to find the original principle. Now, first year, the compound interest was 676. The second year, the compound interest was 743.60. So it is increasing. The difference is nothing but, well, the difference between them is it is increasing exactly by 67.6. So R, I can get as nothing but 10% of this so if rate of interest is 10 percent and in first year if i'm getting 676 uh the answer should be option d 6760 10 will give me 676 yes which of the following is the unit digit okay so unit digit we have to just look at the cyclicity and everything is three so three upon 23 three upon 73 and three upon 63 23 divided by 4 will give me a remainder of 3. So 3 raised to 3 is nothing but 27. So it ends with 7. 72 divided by 4. So it will give me a remainder of 1, which is nothing but 3. And then again, 60 remainder is 3. 3 raised to 3 will end in 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 7, 17. So 7 is the unit digit for my number. Let's see, sets again, maybe a lengthy question to write the entire set. I'll mark for it, I'll come again later. 
A and B are two sets. Okay, sets again. I'll come back to this later. Okay, let's solve profit and loss first. Following a decrease of thirty percent in the cost of an cost price of an item, the selling price had to be decreased by eighteen to maintain the profit percentage. With the absolute profit percentage is not given, I can make assumption. So let us say cost price was and profit percentage was percentage was let us say twenty. So selling price was one twenty. Now your cost price new reduces by thirty percent, which becomes seventy. And since I need to maintain the same profit percentage of twenty. The selling price will be ten percent is seven, twenty percent is fourteen, seventy plus fourteen, eighty four, one twenty and eighty four. The reduction is nothing but of thirty six. So when reduction is of thirty six, I have they are asking me which of the following is closer new selling price. So when the reduction is thirty six, I have my selling price as eighty four, and if I need the reduction to be eighteen, so The selling price has to be nothing but half of it, and half of it is forty-two. So again, let's move forward. I think we are good back while solving. Let's see. Next question: Sequence is in an AP, and it's in the GP. Okay. Sequence and series are marked for review more than math. I'll go for another question. Three friends, Jay, Viru, Gabbar, accompanied by their wives, arrange a party. The average age of first three friends is thirty-five. Each husband is three years older. Gabbar leaves the party with his wife. Okay, In the age of okay, an easy sum based on the sum and average thing. So the average age of three males. So for the three males, it is nothing but thirty-five into three, which is one zero five. And then for the three females, the average age has to be one zero five, and every husband is two years older, so minus six, which will give me nothing but ninety nine. And then when Gabbar leaves the party with his wife, the average age of other two couples, so average age of a couple is fifty. So for four, so basically two men plus two female. So for four people, the average age has to be fifteen to two, which is hundred. And now the total for them is nothing but one hundred and five plus nine is one ninety five. One ninety five plus nine is nothing but two zero four. Two zero four minus hundred. So I'm left with one zero four. And in one zero four, I know that the f has to be f minus two will give me the age of the male. So using answers, I know one has to be. Fifty-three, and this has to be fifty-one to get one zero four. So, Gabbar's wife will be fifty-one years old. Let's move. Which of the following is the greatest? Mm. Let's see. The everything is pure sir, but we cannot add them, and it's addition. So, again, root of seven plus root of thirteen, root of Eight plus twelve root of nine plus root of eleven, and then root of six plus root of fourteen. Okay, so sum of the two digits inside the root is twenty. So if I square all the options, I will get them as seven plus thirteen plus two root of seven root of thirteen. Then next will be eight plus twelve plus two. Root of eight, root of twelve, nine plus eleven plus two, root of nine, root of eleven, and then six plus fourteen plus two, root of six, root of fourteen. So here the first term for every one is twenty, 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 and I just need to check for the second term now. So again, seven into we have the following is greater. So seven into Thirteen will be nothing but ninety one. Eight into twelve is ninety six. Nine into eleven is ninety nine, and six into fourteen is eighty four. So this becomes the biggest term. Okay, easy question. We have been solved quickly. 
in the given figure pr is 60 cm qs is 80 cm so pr is given and then i also have qs find the length of tr okay i'll mark for the review if i have time i'll come back later a graph shows the average cost price per unit and hundred dollars and the profit percentage of what selling each product okay the number of units sold for the products is as many and refer to the given terms. so i need to profit percentage is here and number of products average cost price per unit is given and number of products is think this di will take some time for calculation i'll move to the other questions maybe if i have time i'll come back again so let's see your book was published in five parts the number of pages in each part is 10 percent more than in the previous part so if the number of pages in the fifth part is Two six two six two. Find the total number of pages in. Okay, so we need from part sum of part two and part three, and it's increasing by ten percent. So I can say, let us say part two is x. X into one one zero upon hundred will give me part three into one one zero upon hundred of this will be part four into one one zero upon hundred of this will give me part five. This value is nothing but two six six two. So cancelling the zeros, I know this is x 2662 into 1000 upon I know 11 cube is nothing but 1331. Okay, so this cancels out directly. I get 2. x is equal to 2000, increasing this by 2 10%. So I'll get second year as this, and then third year becomes. Increasing this, I get 2,200, which is 4,200. Find the value of X and Y and choose the correct alternative. Okay. So, X square minus 6X six is equal to 0. I can take X common. So, X minus 6 is equal to 0. So, X is equal to 0 or X is equal to Six. Next, we have y cube plus 24y is equal to 10 y square. Taking this also, y cube minus 10 y square plus 24y is equal to 0. I can divide everything by y. Dividing everything by y, I get y square minus 10 y plus 24 is equal to 0. So, factors can be nothing but minus, minus 4. And then changing the signs, I get the final root of y is plus 6 or plus 4. So if it is 0, so the relationship cannot be established based on the values. Okay, two spheres A and B have equal volumes. Number of cuboids of length into, okay. For A and then number of cubes for melting the sphere B. So again, let us see number of cuboids. The volume of the cuboids will be 8 into 16 into 4. And let us say we get M. This volume has to be equal to the volume which is given for sphere B, which has to be 8 into 8 into 8 side cube. And let us say this quantity is number of spheres is n for quantity 2 so then again i can just cancel out this 8 and then 4 into 16 is this is nothing but 64 and this is also 64 so this term also gets cancelled out m is equal to n so hence quantity 1 is equal to quantity 2 let's see p and q build a wall together in 12 days P alone can build the wall in 20 days. Okay, so P plus Q is taking 12 days. P alone can build the wall in 20 days. So P is 20. LCM for 12 and 20 is 60. 60 upon 12 will give me 5 units per day. 60 upon 20 will give me 3 units per day. 
so q has to be nothing but two units per day the number of days so quantity one number of days for required for q to build two such walls two such walls so for one wall 30 to 60 upon 2 into 2 which is nothing but 60 okay and then quantity 2 i need to see number of days required to build a wall if p builds a wall and q destroys it so if p is building the wall i can give it plus and if q is destroying it i can give it minus and the rate at which q builds a wall and same as which it destroys it. Okay, so there's no change here. So 3 minus 12 get 1. So they will take again 60 days. So again, I can say quantity 1 is same as quantity 2. Tom is playing two card games, poker and blackjack. The probability that Tom wins both poker and blackjack is 0 0.25. Okay. And the probability that Tom wins poker is 0 0.6. What is the probability that Tom wins blackjack given that he has to? Okay, so probability of P intersection B is 0 0.25. Probability of P is 0 0.6. What is the probability that Tom wins blackjack given that he has already won poker? So we are basically looking for P of B slash B or no, blackjack given that he has already won poker. So P of P intersection blackjack upon P of B, which is nothing but 0 0.25 upon 0 0.6, taking the decimals, I get 25 upon 60, which is nothing but 5 upon 12. Okay, let's see. P, Q, P is to Q is to R, 7 is to 5 is to 6, and P, Q plus P, R plus Q, R is equal to 2, 6, and 5. Okay, P, Q, and R is 7, 5, and 6. Let us say this is the absolute value. So, P into Q becomes 35. Then, Q, P into R becomes 42. And then Q into R becomes 30. This total sum is nothing but 7. And then I get final answer is 107. So now if I consider 2675 upon 107, I can directly just cancel out. I can do it as Two two six seven minus two one four. So two six seven minus two one four will give me nothing but five thirty five, which has to be nothing but five. So twenty five times is the difference for particular thing. I need to multiply it by twenty five. So final answer has to be multiplied by 25 of all the numbers so 2675 plus this will give me 25 and answer has to be 25 for this particular ratio so in 25 times What is the value of A and B if 1, 4, 6, 7, 7, 6, 8, 2 AB is divisible by 8, 9, and 10 where A and B are single digit numbers? Okay, so first I'll just find the sum of the remaining digits for divisibility by 9. 1 plus 4, 5, 12, 18, 26, 28, and then I have A plus B left. So two digits can give me maximum only 18. So maximum 18. So I can get only 46, so then minimum is 20. So I can have either 36 or 45. So I can have A plus B is equal to 8 or A plus B is equal to 45, which is nothing but 17. I can have two different options. Now, 
if it is to be divisible by 10 the last digit has to be 0 if last digit is b is 0 so then i only have one option which is answer 8 7 next two workers ram and sham working together and do a certain work in 10 days if ram work thrice as efficiently as he normally works and Sham worked at one third of his normal efficiency, then they together can complete six days. How many days Ram completes? Okay. So Ram plus Sham is equal to 10 days. And then three Ram plus S upon three is taking six days. LCM for 10 and six is 30. So this is 3 and this is 5. So now I just need to find for Ram. So if I want to find it for Ram, I can convert this S as R plus S is equal to 3. So 3 R plus 3 minus R upon 3 is equal to 5 units per day. So 3 into 3. So 9 R plus 3 minus R is equal to 15. So 8 R is equal to 12. R can do in a day 12 upon 8 units of work. So now they are asking if Ram is doing the same piece of work alone. So 30 upon 12 upon 8. So into 8 goes here. I can take this as 2, this is 3, and then. And this is 20 days. A marble is dropped from the height of 5 meters onto the ground after reaching the ground. It bounces and reaches back from the height, which then it repeats itself. So, then it repeats itself each time it bounces. The marble reaches 75%. Okay, so. Again, I think this is based on infinite GP, but not sure. Mark for the review right now. I'll move. I have two minutes left. Okay. Again, a trigonometric question without values of the angle. I'll come back later. Okay. This is also trigonometry. So I'll start with the first trigonometry question. Now I have two minutes left for this section. So one plus cos two theta plus sine two theta upon. Okay. I can write one plus cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta upon minus cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta. I can write this as 1 plus 2 cos square theta minus 1 so that 1 and 1 gets cancelled out and this is 2 sine theta cos theta upon I can write this thing as 1 minus minus 1 plus 2 sine square theta. So again, minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled out. 2 sine theta cos theta. So, in this and this gets cancelled out. I can take 2 cos theta common in the first one. So, 2 cos theta. I get sine theta plus cos theta in the numerator again. And here also I can take 2 sine theta common. So, again, I will get the same thing, which is sine theta plus cos theta. Cancelling, okay. And answer has to be reciprocal of 10, which is cot. Save and next. Let's see. 11th question. Cos of C, triangle ABC, cos of A, C plus A plus B, B minus C is equal to. Okay. Quite lengthy. Not possible to solve it in the given time. I'll just take a fluke, guys, on the 11th question. And... Since I know that sum is 180 degree for the angles and just taking by that, that since it is has to be divided by 2, so 180 upon 2 is 90 and cos 90 has to be 0. So just going by that pure fluke and luck, I think I'll hit 0 as my answer. Again, I think this sum will take too long to calculate. So I think I'll hit all the options as D now. And I'll just move to the next section.
okay so let's start with the lr section and i think i am on time by now i've stuck to the time limit so let's see for lr first i'll try to solve all the verbal reasoning questions and then go to the quants and the linear invent so some shirts are pants okay and then all pants are blazers and some blazers no blazer is a sock no blazer is a sock i have this conclusion some blazers are shorts okay first is true so one follows so this two options are eliminated i just need to check between 3 and 4 so three some shorts are not socks some shorts are not socks correct some shorts are not shorts which is 100% true so i think it has to be only one and three let's move forward i have space all boards are chalks so three statement third statement is the conclusion all boards are chalks okay all boards are chalks all chalks are dusters all dusters are chalks okay cannot be determined using a so if a is eliminated then it's first both the options are eliminated all movies are screened all movies are screened so all movies are screened 12th fail was screened recently there is no logic be so no no all trucks are cycles all trucks are cycles some scooters are cycles okay all trucks are cycles some scooters are cycles okay some scooters are cycles all trucks are scooters okay not true some scooters are trucks no neither one nor two follows we cannot say definitely the intersection takes place all carrots are cakes let's see all the carrots are cakes some telephones are carrots okay so some telephones are carrots all bed sheets are telephones so we have bed sheets being inside this draw this in a bigger way so again carrot cake then telephone and then we have bed sheet all bed sheets are cake may or may not be true some bed sheets are cakes may or may not be true so one is out and this is out so i think two is also out so we only have been option left three some cakes are telephones which is 100% true so only three follows some eyes are tears some eyes are tears some tears are lungs so some tears are lungs all lungs are hands so all lungs are hands some hands are eyes cannot be determined one does not follow so three options are out i think it has to be only this not even check okay the triangle rectangle represents to the people who play cricket let's write the information down rectangle is cricket the circle represents respondents who play football circle is football triangle represents the respondents who play table tennis so triangle is table tennis which of the following does not follow logically from the given information exactly 87 respondents play okay so cricket is my rectangle all the numbers are inside 37 plus 30 plus 
2087 the first follows exactly when respondents play cricket and table tennis but not football so cricket and table tennis is intersection between square and triangle square and triangle not circle which is true exactly 57 respondents play football so football is not see the next i'll move to the next one 240 students have to choose at least one subject and at most two subjects from three subjects physics okay i think this venn diagram and i'll come to this later i'll mark it for review i'll solve my verbal reasoning first again mark this for review i'll coding decoding okay let's see should india consider an immediate prohibition on vehicles powered by petrol and diesel to mitigate the climate impact in cities Yes, the climate change poses a critical or oh, comprehensive strategy concerns gradual transition to linear technologies, alongside addressing industrial emissions and other pollution sources will be a better approach. Okay, so first one, yes, becomes a very extreme step, I believe, to stop on right now only. So I think I'll go with only argument two because it's not extreme and it's sensible. Should uniforms be made compulsory for students in college? Yes, enforcing uniform fosters a sense of unity and equality among students, contributing to positive learning. So definitely, it is a positive connotation to it. So it has to be strong. No uniform should be only be mandatory for school students. College students find it boring. No, it is not true. It has a very negative connotation to it. So only first is strong. China is planning to raise its retirement age to cope with its aging population. China's population is aging faster than most other countries. Definitely not true because the conclusion is not given. Like we are not talking about other countries, so it's wrong. The retirement age stipulated by China is currently lower than other countries. There is no talk about other countries again. None of the conclusion follows. The IAS cutoff is lower this year due to the higher difficulty level of the exam and more vacancies than in previous year. Yeah. IAS cutoff for the previous year was higher. Okay, it is lower this year, so yes, it was higher last year. Conclusion one follows: is in difficulty level of IAS exam may result in a fall in its cutoff. So it is mentioned here that because the difficulty level increases the cut off goes down so yes even conclusion two follows so yeah both one and one and two follows bribes and payoffs in teachers recruitment and promotion have significantly resulted in lowering the quality of pool of teachers in government schools schools against which the case of bribery are reported must be shut down with immediate effect too extreme to shut down the school right now Employment transfer and recruitment process conduct regular audits and events. Okay, question. Second looks moderate and looks sensible. Only two follows, I think. Rise of ski sledging in Finnish Lapland has resulted in duration of animal welfare standards with dogs being put down when they reach retirement age. Course of action so establish a responsive. Comprehensive rescue and adoption program for retired sled dogs, encouraging responsible ownership. Okay, good course of action. Second is awareness among the public about ethical norms, and both of them are moderate and have positive connotation to it. So I'll say both of them follows. Okay, again we have a arrangement question. There seven friends A B C D. So I'll move to the English first, and then I'll come back to this arrangement. Relationship. Okay, I'll come back to the patterns later. First, I'll try to solve all the English questions. Okay, seaweed consumption helps to control the weight gain as it reduces the amount of fat digested from the diet by around seventy five percent. Consumption of seaweed is safe and does not cause any side effects. Okay, this is nowhere mentioned, so this cannot be assumed right now. Digestion of fats in the body leads to weight gain. 
okay this is an assumption because the only assumption one two is implicit when you're exposed to early there are at risk for social economical and changes the research findings are applicable across diverse cultural and social economic context they care on what good for the social emotional well-being of the children okay there is no talk about the social economic well-being directly because they are saying there is a risk and not the absolute thing the research findings are applicable across diverse cultural background so research coming in children exposed to early extensive day camp so there's an assumption that it has to be true across everything so i think one is implicit okay abstemious and restrained abstinence means, means to restrain so there is an antonym which is going on so gregarious is someone who is too bored so i think recluse next wealth opulence okay opulence is nothing but more wealth so knowledge has to be a word which is more for the knowledge and it is I think spiritualism or erudition I think it's i think it should be spiritualism but let's see voracious tepid ephemeral okay so voracious someone is very raw and tepid someone is very soft so again ephemeral and is something which dies very early or very soon so opposite will be eternal aberration normal so aberration means again something which is away from the normal so there is a relationship of antonyms again so pandemonium means chaos so opposite of chaos harmony okay pattern again pattern pattern and again this is an arrangement in okay so now i'll start solving this questions let's see so first one we have 240 students have to choose at least one subject and at most two subjects okay from three subjects so again we have three subjects given to us and which is physics chemistry and along with that biology and i know that the middle is nothing so i'll just black it out it has to be zero because at most only two subjects can be selected it is found that the number of students choosing physics is half the number of students okay so another information is p is equal to b upon 2 or c upon 2 half the students choosing chemistry and one third of the students choosing biology which is b upon 3 Okay, and sixty students choose exactly two subjects. I just write the variables. So standard form writing variables A, B, C, D, E, and F. So again, exactly two subjects. So we have D plus E plus F is equal to sixty. Total students are two forty. So A plus B plus C will be two forty minus sixty, which is one eighty. Correct. Now the first question is which of the following cannot be the given information? Does A, D, and E together? So again, if I add the two things, so if I have A plus B plus C plus Two D plus E plus F. This has to be nothing but P plus C plus B. Okay, P plus C plus B, and I don't know this value, but C can be written as two P, and this can be written as three P. So P plus two P plus three P is six P. This is nothing but one eighty, and again this is nothing but sixty. So sixteen to two one twenty. So six p is equal to five hundred, three hundred, and three hundred upon six. So 
T is equal to 50. So this has to be equal to 100 and B has to be equal to 150. So now if I continue here, number of students choosing physics can be answered. Yes. Number of students choosing either physics or chemistry or both, but not biology. So without we I have 150 students, which can be answered. The number of students choosing both physics and chemistry. So both physics and chemistry is D, but I cannot calculate D. I just know the total of this. So this cannot be answered. Next piece of information, if the students choosing only chemistry is 40. Okay, so I have B, which is only 40. And the number of students choosing both chemistry and biology. Chemistry and biology. So F is 30 so d becomes d is equal to 30 again how many students choose only physics if d is 30 so f is also 30 so e has to be equal to zero because every d e plus f is equal to 60 so if this is zero and this is 30 so a has to be 30 50 and 30 which is 30. Next question, let's see. Let's see, X belongs to X, belongs to integers, Z is integers and X is greater than or equal to 17. Okay, and B, X belongs to again integers, X is less than 19. A intersection of B is not equal to, so, a intersection of B, Z is all the numbers which is greater than or equal to 17 and B is less than 19. So intersection of A intersection B will be nothing but 17 will be included and then we'll have 18. So this will be the set. And then square bracket means not included. So 17, 18 is true, but 19 is not included. X, B is less than 19. So which is answer. Okay, again, smell is smell is coded as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four. Life is coded as four, five, six, three. Find the code for smile. Okay, L is being coded as four. Both the places E is three. So if E is three. And L is 4, it has to end with 43, which is option A. Let's solve next question. Adulthood is coded as B, 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 J, U. Write the wrong word. Adulthood is coded as B, B, V, J, U, F, E, M. E B U F Q P K F is the code for which of the following word. Okay. So after A we are going to B then D say one step before C and then we have B. So this is becoming plus one. This is becoming minus two. U two V is again plus one. L so Again, minus two. So this is plus one minus two pattern. So here we'll go, because we are finding the reverse code, we'll go minus one first. So minus one will be A. And then we'll do plus two. So U plus two will be W and A W. Okay, so we are only a fun word starting with A W. We'll solve that. Right. Next eighteen. We have seven friends A, B, C, Ishan, E, and Farida F. Ganesh is G and Joseph is J. 
attended a conference which sat around the same round table facing the center of the table okay so again we have seven friends so this makes seven seats right now and so four is done and then we have five and then we have six and then we have seven so so say if no one else sat around the round table okay No vacancy. So Joseph said at the third position to Anand. Let us fix Anand here. So Anand is everyone is facing towards the table. So Anand's left is in this side. So third position one two three. This will be Joseph. Gani said to the third position to the Joseph's left. So this is Joseph and four and left is this. So one two and three. This will be Ganesh. Bhave said at the second position to Ganesh is right. So Ganesh is facing here. Right will be here. So one two. Bhavesh, Parida said it. Ishan's immediate left, but not next to Bhavesh. Okay. So Parida said to the Ishan's immediate left. So if this is Ishan, his left will be here. So and Parida cannot come here. So this has to be Ishan, and then to the left of Ishan we have Parida, and. Bhavesh is here, so we are done with A. We are done with E. We are done with F. We are done with G. We are done with J. We are done with B. We are left with C. So C comes here. So this is the person who is sitting at Ganesh's immediate right. So this is Ganesh, and the person sitting to the immediate right of Ganesh. So Ganesh is in sit sitting here, immediate right. Carol. Who is sitting next to both Joseph and Ishan? Between Joseph and Ishan, we have F, Farida. Who is sitting to the second? Is sitting second position to Farida's right. So this is Farida in second position to the right. So Farida's right is that side one and Anand. Which of the following is correct? Where Carol is sitting at Bhavesh's immediate left, which is true. Yes, that's true. First option. How is my father's mother-in-law, only daughter's sister, related to my father? Okay. So, father, mother-in-law, daughter, only daughter. So, only daughter. So, मतलब they are married together, which is his mother. Sister-in-law. So, mother, sister-in-law will be the direct sister to father, and that has to be the answer. It has to be the direct sister. A. Son of A is the father of B. Okay, the son of A. So we have A, who has a son, and is the father of B. So now we he is a father of particular person B. We don't know the gender. D is the only brother of B. Okay, so we have D, and he is the boy. C is the son-in-law of A. Okay. C is the son-in-law of A, so they are not related. How is C related to D? Since he is a male, and he is in the second generation, and this is second generation. This is third generation. He has to be an uncle. Looking at the time, we have time. First, I'll try to complete the pattern first, then come back to this. I'll try to solve the puzzle. The following question contains a series of five figures labeled one, two, three, four. Choose a figure that does not fit the series. Okay. First, we are increasing the line now, and then one more. It's making an entire line, and then it's increasing. Hmm. 
this is going clockwise and then it is change the sign so when when we change the sign that goes clockwise so I change the sign we should I think three does not make sense because this going up should go in the other direction. Okay. The following questions consist of the set of three figures labeled. Okay. We just need to find the cut. So first we are folding the paper together and then after folding it together. So we are again opening it. So when we make the square, opening it, this triangle should come in the picture and in between we should get a square that will stay and this will stay here. If this triangle is coming here, it will also come on the opposite side symmetry and this will come. So option three is eliminated. Here we have remaining options. Five is eliminated because this is not present in five. Now looking at this figure, we have extra diamonds also which are created on both the sides and your extra. This is missing in four. And in two, we have this extra thing coming out here. So I think answer is one. Let's see again. Patterns which we have to select the X in the best possible way. So let's see the pattern. This is the figure here and here. We have this figure which is nothing but taking it, taking this figure down. So, so we are bringing this thing down and then taking the mirror image of it and reversing mirror image and again mirror image. So same thing if I do here, if I take the mirror image of the star. So this particular figure, so mirror image, so this thing comes down and if this thing comes down, then it comes here. So it should have the C here. And uh, option the C here, this should also come here. So I think it should be option four. Okay, so let's solve. Two articles were bought and then sold. Was the combined cost of the two articles greater than the combined revenue from the sales of the two articles? Okay, we need to find whether we can answer using one statement. Now. The two articles were bought at the same price. First will only give me the cost price. So statement one gives me the cost price. Of the two articles bought, one was sold at X percent profit and other at X percent loss. So second gives me gain and loss and if it's same, so there is no net loss. So if it does be same, so I can answer using first, I cannot answer whether there was the revenue or not. But and using second, I can just find percentage profit but depending on the statement so I think it has to be option C it can be answered using statement 1 and 2 together but not alone a person invested is money on a simple interest basis to banks what is the ratio of the amount invested in bank 1 to the bank 2 if the investment were made in the same duration for both banks ok so first one the total interest from each investment is the same. Okay, if the interest is same, still we don't know the rate of interest or anything like that and we don't know the amount. So, first statement cannot be used alone. So, option one is eliminated. And then if I look at the next thing, The ratio of the rates of interest offered by the two banks is in 10 is to 9. So if I know that the ratio is 10 is to 9 and if I know that total interest of the investment is same, 
if ratio is 10 is to 9 according to the statement 2 and if the investment is same so i'm getting principal time is same and if the ratio of the interest rate is 10 and if ratio is 10 but still i can't find so if i need to find the ratio only so And upon 100 into x, let us say the total investment is equal to 9 upon 100 into x. Since it's one year, one year only, x minus whatever is the value y, but I don't know any value. So using this. Ten x is equal to nine. And the ratio so yes, if questions can be answered. Each of the Samir's three sons has a birthday today. What is the age of the Samir's oldest son today? Again, let's see. The sum of the squares of their ages is. 26. Okay, if the sum of the squares is 26, and, and then if the oldest is so, sum of the squares of their ages, so 16 and 4. The ages, their ages today are three consecutive integers. So, using second statement, definitely I can find the answer. They are mm. so, but still, I cannot find the answer using second statement. First one, so if today they are in consecutive integers, so let us say a minus one and a plus one, and if I find the whole square, so a square plus one. Plus one minus two a plus a square plus a square plus one plus two a is equal to twenty six. So three a square plus two is equal to twenty six. A square is equal to twenty four. A square is equal to eight. It is possible to find the answer like this. Three a square. This way, so I think again, I think this can be also answered, but I think we can answer this question using statement one alone. Okay, I have last five minutes left. And I'm left with five questions. I think I should be option one because 26, I can break it. If it's integers value, then only I can find the answer. No. I think it cannot be answered because a square will always equal to it will not be an integer value. Okay. 27. In each of the following questions, okay, we just need to find the middle part and zero is equal to so then plus zero, then s plus okay. So this gets replaced and you get a new place, then that comes here. So in this case, s will come here. So we'll have either two, three, or five. And when s is here, the thing which should follow the s has to be a star, so it has to be option five. Let's see. Again, we need to find the pattern between. So, 
two, one and two. Then this is here, and then one, two, three, four, and five. So one and two. Then after one place, we are moving to the second place. If I move one, two, and three, if I consider, and then one, two, three, four, it has to be opposite. So, and the ball is always in the opposite corner. So, this plus the opposite corner. I think it has to be option two. Yes. Let's see. 28. Let's solve the average first. Let's see whether we get this correct. Oh. The average of nine distinct numbers is 20. Okay, so sum of the nine distinct number is 180. The average of the first three numbers is 22. Okay, so for the first three numbers, sum is 66. The sum of the last three numbers is 69. Okay, last three numbers is 69. So 66 plus 69, we have total 135. So the middle three numbers are nothing but 45. So middle three are nothing but 45 and 45 upon three. So average of the middle three is 15. That's correct. The average of the first three and the last three numbers. So if we have 135 and 135, if we divided by 3, so it is nothing but, oh no, 135, we have 6 numbers, first 3 and half 3, so it is nothing but 2 and 1, 5, so 22 point something, and this value is A, and this value is B. So, B is greater than A. Yes. Okay, I think. Just what's up, my dear? Ganesh, Ranveer, and Sarvesh, Pramod Rajya standing. We have one minute. Two questions left. So, we have GR. R1. S P R two standing in the row facing the north direction. Okay. Is Shweta standing at the end of the row? So Sarvesh is standing at one end of the row. But Shweta is not mentioned only in the first five names. So I think I think the question is wrong right now. Mm. Is Shweta standing at the end of the robot? Shweta is not mentioned in the particular question. I'll just mark it D and move forward. Shweta Rupali's mother in law. Shweta Rupali's mother in law is the sister of Pushpa's father in law. So we have Shweta, who is the mother in law for Rupali. is the sister of Pushpa's father-in-law. Okay. She is the sister directly for Pushpa's so we have father-in-law of Pushpa. Ujwal and Amal are married to Pushpa and Isha not necessarily in the same order of his Pradeep related to Tarun. So 
श्रीधर एंड सरिता है टू सन्स उज्वल एंड उमर ओके यूजिंग वन आई कैन नॉट फाइंड द आंसर ओनली वन प्रदीप दिस इज पुष्प तो प्रदीप इज रूपाली इज हजबेंड सो Okay, I'm not. I don't think I can answer. I'll just mark D and move forward. I'll not waste my time. I'll move to the English section. Okay, let's start. Ah, uh, I'll first start with the passages so that I can have even less time for grammar in the end. Still, I'll be able to get those things right. Passages will take some time. I'll find the passages first. This is. Mm. Okay, let's start. So, um, we have. Okay, we have four questions for a passage, and then five questions again, and again we have four questions. Okay, so I'll start with. the first passage yoga spiritual practice that began in india is extended widely across the world in united states is held up in this way when a path to transformation and let me read men for so much as that heal from addiction addicts in present disorders more than 14% us to 5% five values nine between men in building residents Building health care was difficult. Most of few participants, industry like drug makers, attract research. No one to try hard for it. Then credibility has been misused in so many okay. Stress and plays a major role in many illnesses. Their collision. The soldiers in the knowledge analyzed ten volunteers before and after two hours. Scientists at UCLA studying the sense of discovery of a okay. National Institute of Health found that don't display the usual age-related declines in gray matter. Yoga is also large about in several brain regions. It is very difficult to memory. This brings legitimacy. Okay, so the passage basically speaks about yoga and how it has grown in US and how it is conducted. So first, I'll look at the options, questions, and then try to find answers based on the particular question only. So, which of the following is a long-term impact of practicing yoga according to the passage? So, uh, I think we saw long-term in one of the later part of the passage. So, it is in Norway analyzed blood from ten volunteers before and after UCLA. Okay, scientists at National Institute of Health founded long-term yoga practice and don't display the usual age-related declines in the brain's gray matter. So, again. It helps to get rid. No, it decreases the expression. No, not talk about it. It inhibits. Yes, that's answer. Why, according to the passage, is that is it difficult to validate the health claims of yoga? So, again, let's see health claims of yoga. In United States talks about the increase. Talks about the good things about yoga. Validating health claims from yoga is difficult. Most studies involve Too few participants to be conclusive. Okay. Yoga validating the health claims of yoga. Yoga research fails to attract sufficient participants. That's the answer. Passage is most likely to have been extracted from. Okay. So health and fitness magazine. The tone of the passage. I feel it has a lot of numbers and it is. It has a lot of. Scientific facts given, so it cannot be a fitness magazine. A scientific journal discussing ongoing research on health can be a spiritual and wellness blog post exploring transformative aspects. So I don't think they've talked more about transformative aspects, but reading the points from just reading the. 
top of my mind, I think so. The points which mentioned here are all about diseases and not about wellness. Think it cannot be see an academic textbook on complementary and alternative medicine. So since they're not talking about any medicine and it's only on yoga, I think it is scientific journal. I'll go with scientific journal. The main idea captured in the passage: the origins and history of yoga in India. No, the Growing popularity of yoga in United States. Yes, they talk about this. It can be a possible answer. Various health benefits attributed to practicing yoga. Yes, even health benefits have been mentioned here. The challenging and the limitations in validating health claims for yoga. That was just one part of the passage. So main idea. And since they are also talking about Norway and other particular things, but again, Harvard and everything has been given importance. They are not talking about increasing. Think it has to be health benefits mainly. The main idea captured is health benefits. Popularity again has just one line and not the main idea discussed. So let's see. Select the word or the phrase nearest in the meaning of the word. Unraveling in the context of the passage. Okay, let's see the word. So when we look at the word unraveling, we need to find it out first. It has extended widely across the world. Unraveling, no, no. In past, most of these have been unraveling too many participants of this. Not uh, saying culture yoga and credibility, but. Not here. The word unraveling is okay here. And unraveling the mystery. So unraveling is nothing but to reveal in context of this passage. Let's see. Okay, we have 11 minutes left. I think we can solve one passage entirely and one I think will be based on looks. So I think I'll go with the women development passage because that's a topic which I think interests me in general. So, women in several Indian states are more socially isolated than their counterparts. In, okay, so they're talking about this question. Social bonding makes life easier but perfectly natural. Okay, like they're going to study by the number of Indian women are deployed. Okay, on average. Female respondents in Uttar Pradesh reported having only one confined right in there. The strict with nearly a quarter of them had having a close associate. This could have to do with the lack of freedom to this lack of freedom. So again it talks about less freedom. The situation not specific to the states either with an average of only three acquaintances where women have earned greater liberties. So the social expectations assigned to women confine them. No opportunities for women in the USA. There's no talk about them. Enable to earn social liberties. It's clearly mentioned in the passage. I'll just mark this move ahead. Why does the author feel that social networks are more crucial in developing countries? In the first paragraph, there's no talk. So let's talk, continue. Predictably, the pandemic has exaggerated the situation by suspending physical interaction. The impact of the cartel social interventions was felt more acutely in the rural India while the urban population depended on the social media during lockdown. Poor accessibility to the internet and digital and denied rural women. So, okay. The latest national health family community never used to okay. telling a more extensive social network really can be source of information about jobs. Okay. The study found that social support encourages women to make better choices, certainly. And, there yeah, certainly is a case for leveraging social networking to consolidate social networks as we could in developing countries. That, that, so this is a paragraph I think they're talking about. Social networks are especially crucial in developing countries where markets are unrepresentative and public institutions weak as such trending newer avenues, more equitable access to online platform. Empowering women. Okay. So since impact of restricting it did no is it will really enable to make improved life choices because it will emancipation through equitable access. So that's already mentioned exact words. So I think I'll go with this option. 
according to passage of the following is the most important for women's emancipation in the country okay it's again in this last paragraph only let's continue reading but one cannot ignore the fact that women's emancipation is a complex issue informed by historical and cultural factors technological solution therefore cannot be sole focus there need to be backed by traditional initiatives so one of the factors traditional initiatives liberating women from the grip of patriarchy above all to achieve policy and increase political representation of the women so key is political representation so that is stronger political which is option c which of the following applied itself for the passage about so overall the passage talked about social network and how it can help in helping the women in india to increase and develop themselves so role of social network in developing countries yes but it's also talking about india in the beginning but overall later the talk in general about developing countries so i think it's option c how would it characterize the writing style employed in the passage i think it is trying to persuade the readers i for me i feel that this passage is trying to persuade me and over implementing policy changes or towards how it is necessary so i think it has to be persuasive tone if it is persuasive i think if i start this passage i won't be able to do my grammar i'll just hit any i'll think i'll hit all the options as c so and again okay this question just because it's front of me which of the following is the farthest in the meaning of the word triumph in the context of the triumph means celebratory so if it has to be farthest without reading the passage i think it has to be defeat i'll i'll just take defeat as my answer okay let's start with grammar we have 6 minutes left so accepting that requires an acknowledgement of our mortality it must be done not with dash but with dash and embracing the profound realities okay not with dash so both the blanks have to be antonyms of each other since there is but so and the second has to be a positive word because this has a positive tone towards its end so animosity is not a positive word indignation not apprehension again is not fit well i think authenticity world leaders were dressed to the nines at the president's g20 dinner party last night dressed as per the dress code dressed in very stylish fashionable casually attired for formal occasion wearing outdated no since it's nines i think it means very stylish i it was heard through the grape and okay through the grape mine basically means always gossips so that's option d straight away although the weather department dash when the outdoor event went as planned i uh, the correct tense here has is predicted dash that the ceo is using the company profits to pay off his own gambling debt a uh, rumor is it no it's wrong english it is rumor that no it has to be it is rumored so this is wrong it is rumor has it the investigators request for the clergyman is simply dash they have no real so there since there is no real evidence this thing is known as fishing expedition as a parent i knew that there was a fine line between panic and caution so fine line means that there is not a lot of division so this is wrong and i think i best not many similarities and a subtle distinction means the same thing i think i'll go with subtle distinction the former prime minister told the media that his party has been unfairly muzzled um uh, since it is media so I think it's silenced let's see he towered on them both the muscles in his arms and shoulders straining against his shirt as he looked at his thumbs in front pocket so they are asking for the error here so it towered on them both um, it towered on them both i 
think it's wrong english to say towered on them both i'm not sure but muscles in his arms and shoulders sounds correct straining against his shirt sounds correct as he looked his thumbs in the front pockets of his jeans hooked his thumbs again sounds correct. i think the first english sounds wrong i not 100% sure but i'll go with my gut the actors were not only engaging but also had skill in their performances okay so we need to correct the last part so definitely is an error so and also were not only so since it's were not only it has to start with but so both options a and b are eliminated but also skillful in their performances or but were also having skill since this is engaging it's a present continuous i think go with having skill as much as i would like to help you but i cannot because i am too busy at the moment so we need to again find a grammatical error as much as i would like to help you i but i cannot since the conjunction is already used in the beginning this conjunction i think i think you shouldn't have the conjunction so i think this is wrong only when he needed some help did he call me yes the creator the early analog versions of chat gpt were used contraptions which were performed that performed dash memory task so ncds is a wrong word create since creators cannot send it has to be confusion baffling and please spoke the final solemn words so since it's priest and solemn so that said to be positive it cannot be inauspicious so it has to be joyous his research examines our modern wars whether in iraq ukraine syria or yemen are increasingly putting civilians on front line turning cities into battlefields and displacing millions okay displacing so definitely it's an error here in structure the gums are quite amorphous being neither organized like starch nor crystallized like sugar they are asking us to find the antonym so amorphous means not having a structure so okay structured the director stated that portraying misogynistic behavior in movie does not imply an endorsement so we need to find the meaning or synonym so endorsement i think judge approval okay when guys i will be left with the last 59 seconds i'll just hit all the flukes i don't want to miss out on any question just when i thought i couldn't get any was a severe it was escalating making the struggle with the illness more daunting so just even when i thought i think it's worse not because a comparative degree it has to be worse for sure so next the map that you are referring to is not accurate and may lead you a drift is used for non living things so always wrong astray next again despite his incessant self praise and attempts to belittle me i could have easily forgiven his pride if he did not modify me so leave for again or oh, i'll I'll, not, wait, I'll just mark as you are commanding officer since i'll again we have last four questions 30 seconds let's see if we can find it quickly since two options are working with you i'll just see the order the notion of the work life balance and mention middle the work came so c in this notion of cultivating okay i think c b beatrix again two options are starting with c so i'll just see that option c and b so i think again c b will go i don't have any time i'll just mark it and i'll move forward okay so everyone i think i'm done with my mocks let's see how much i score i think it should be somewhere in the range of 75 plus let's see how it went okay so everyone uh, can you see my screen no uh, uh anyone can you just type in on the text it will so people who are 
already here since the entire hundred means thank you for joining uh so as i mentioned i was expecting somewhere 75 plus so 80 plus i think this is a good score and this will definitely guarantee you getting your admissions if you go with this but again if i see my sections in general i think in quants i could have spent like 5 less minutes and if i would have spent five more minutes in english my score could have been more better so again i'll just try to see where i went wrong in quants right now uh, anyone if you have any doubts you can just put it in your chat and i'll try to answer those doubts so i'll just review also i'll just see which questions went wrong okay so first one okay this question went wrong and again okay answer was 5% and i think there would be some calculation mistake okay 19th i did solve question number 19th i did not okay question number 19 was a fluke okay it went wrong question number 22 was a fluke again Twenty three we solved and okay answer is fifty one but still it's wrong okay I think there is a mistake on the portal for this particular question so twenty five again it was a fluke twenty seven twenty eight was a fluke twenty nine again thirty five I solved but think okay okay X square Okay, I forgot to take the square root. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay, understandable. Next, I think thirty-five, thirty-eight again was a fluke. Thirty-nine was a fluke. Forty was a fluke. Okay, so flukes went wrong. Okay, L R surprisingly. Okay, this question went wrong. again answer was a using one we can answer but not using two which is true okay so this went wrong okay it's erudition which i thought but again i was 50 50% sure so yes and in 40 okay i think again oh it's A only. I think again, it's A was the correct answer. I think there's a mistake on the mock. I think we'll correct it. So, continuing your. It was in a rush. Okay, I made a mistake in rush. Okay, as much and okay, both the flukes went wrong for this particular question. Again. I think answer was challenges and limitations. Okay, this thing went wrong in English. This was okay. Expository and again, out of five flukes, I think I only got two correct. So, guys, I think overall it was a nice attempt. Score is in front of you, and I feel that maybe in your main attempt. If you spend less less time on quants again, so maybe if you just spend thirty five minutes and five minutes more on verbal, I think you can take your verbal score much higher and maybe you can secure more marks. So again, uh, anyone any doubts, you can just post it in the chat section. I think I'll be able to answer now. We are done with this mock, or else thank you for joining and. All the best for your exams. I hope everyone does pretty well and you get your dream colleges. So, anyone, any doubts? Ah, uh, we'll keep the meeting open for the next five minutes and then we'll close it. So, again, anyone, if you have any doubts, just feel free to put it on in the text box.
Supradeep, uh, Sahu, yes, uh, I look into it. I don't have the exact time in my, like, I don't have that information. I look into it and I'll tell you when the indoor mock 10 results will be out. Okay. I'll, I'll get back on this. Any questions regarding this particular mock or regarding impact, how you have to go about it? If, if any questions, you can feel free to ask. Okay, Akash, so you are not able to understand permutation and combination. Um, Akash, are you done with all your practice exercise? Because practice exercise has some very good questions for PNC. And also the benchmarking test for PNC are, has some really good and different type of questions. Are you done solving all of them? Okay, guys, so if you don't have any doubts, it's, uh, I think we can wrap up this session. Again, thank you so much for joining in. I hope this was a good session. I hope you have a good takeaway from this. And again, if you have any doubts, please reach out to your mentors. It's the last leg of your preparation. Feel free to reach out to any mentor and try to find all your doubts cleared before your main attempt. And again, all the best. Okay. So others, if no doubts, the session will end soon. And Akash, uh, I'll personally say that for you, you should first try to complete your practice exercise questions in the benchmarking test, because those questions are very different from each other. So we'll get practice of more different types of questions which will help you understand the concepts like the basics of PNC in much better way. So again, I'll personally advise you that start solving your practice exercise first. Um, is practice module for IMS enough? Practice module has good questions, but again, on portals, you also have more different case. So if you try solving it on portal, the questions from the portal, the practice will be much better. Because again, for LRDI, the speed only comes when you solve more and more differences. So if you're done with your practice module, I'll like, I'll again recommend you and advise you to start solving from your portal as well. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much guys, once again for joining and Again, really hope to do one more session for you guys and again, help you. So, uh, Akash, uh, it is available on the learn port, learn tab. So when you go on the learn tab, you can go into the DILR section and you can solve more and more questions and you can practice.